How is it going today? Loyalist Kingdom. My name is Wayne. My name is Jasmine. We're doing Jazz today. We have Can Asians Be Sexy by Niga Higa. And this is coming off the whole Stevie, Steve, I said Stevie, <laughs> Steve Harvey dispute where um, I think he said something about Asians or a joke about Asians really can't be sexy or Asian men can't be sexy. Oh. I think that's. Uh, I was I about think. to say, I was like, isn't he Asian? Yeah, yeah, he's okay, Asian, okay. but I'm talking Steve Harvey said that joke. Oh. On, his, on his TV show. He said they can't be? Yeah, they can be. I think he's making a joke about it. Oh. I guess that's what he's going to talk about here. I think, I, I'll talk about that anyway, because I think Asian people are, you know, I, I think, think they yeah. can be. You know, everybody yeah. was upset when Glenn died. Exactly. Glenn so. was a handsome man, but anyway, let's dive yeah. on in. Hey guys. Hi. Let's start this over real quick. Hey guys, <laughs> so by now I'm sure all of you have already heard about all the drama and controversy around, you know, Steve Harvey making the jokes called Asian Man. Basically, he made some jokes oh. on his show about Asian men and how they're not attractive. And oh. this is what it looked like. Do you like Asian men? No. Thank you. Now obviously there was a lot of drama that followed. There was two okay. different sides of people either, you know, attacking Steve Harvey, saying he's racist for making those jokes, or people actually defending him and saying, you know, he's a comedian and Asians need to learn to just take a joke. And even though I'm oh. Asian and I should be biased, when I really thought about it, I wasn't personally offended by what he said. But I'm not saying what he said was right, I'm just saying, for me personally, I, I don't get offended by things like that. I've been hearing it my whole life. Obviously yeah. I can see why Asians were offended and are upset about this. Yeah, I can definitely see I was why. upset too, yeah. but probably for a completely different reason. I wasn't upset by the fact that he was saying Asian men are unattractive. I was upset for just you two reasons. BTS, First of all, the double BTS? standard is this when it comes to two racist jokes. <laughs> like in our society, it's almost okay to make jokes about Asians like this. I mean, could you imagine if we switched the roles and we had an Asian man playing Steve Harvey and said the things that he said but about black people on national television? Excuse me. Do you like black men? No. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. would be over. And he'd probably be getting death threats, he'd probably not be able to book another job. There would be significantly more outrage than there was about yeah. this Steve Harvey thing. But since yeah. the joke was about Asians, it's not as big of a deal because, you know, it's just a joke. I mean, Asians are like the punch bags of society. I can understand <laughs> if this was like the first time that I'm this ever happened to mainstream media. Yeah. But let's be real, these kinds of things happen to Asians all the time. I mean, remember during Lynn Sanity and ESPN wrote about Jeremy Lin? And they titled the article, A Chink, chink in the Armor, yep. obviously making reference to the fact that Jeremy what? is Asian. And yes, there was a lot of outrage for that. I'm not denying Oh, still, that's, again, that's, there was still the yeah, no. fact that it was a joke. But my point is the fact that anybody would actually think it's okay to it's title an article. Book that, a right. Yeah, armor, like, I wouldn't even you know, prove that. I mean, a sports related article is kind of ridiculous. I mean, the word chink yeah, is basically like the N word for Asian. Do you think yeah. anybody would dare to publish the article if they switched out the word chink with the N word? Of course not, because society and mainstream media has taught us that it's not okay to make black jokes, but it is okay to make Asian jokes. And Steve Harvey is a comedian, it's his job. In fact, if I had to list my really favorite black comedians, you know, from greatest to worst, Steve Harvey wouldn't be the last one. You know, I'd probably start the top of the list with like Dave Chappelle, Bernie Mac, Eddie Murphy, Wayne Brady, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, Chris Tucker. Look at all those black comedians. Oh, oh, oh okay, well, well they the put uh, Childish Gambino on there. Mason Love, yours guy, Orlando Jones, the guy that made the Godin Vine, Bill Cosby, Steve Harvey, and then Bill Cosby after the rape allegations. So see, Steve is still not at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's be real, the guy's funny. I mean, when you got jokes that are straight fire like this one. You like Asian me? I don't even like Chinese food, boy. I don't eat what I can't pronounce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And a man in the bag that says fresh start, like, it doesn't look like he's starting off with a fresh start. Mm -hmm. The funniest part to me is that, you know, as a comedian, he didn't just laugh at his own joke. He was dying from his yeah. own joke. I mean, it looked like it was the funniest joke he's ever told or heard. Then again, maybe he wasn't even making a joke. I mean, Chinese food is hard to pronounce. It actually made me kind of curious, and I, mm -hmm. I started thinking, like, what would it be like to have someone like Steve Harvey you know, at a Chinese restaurant for lunch? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you might get the mustache. Right. I can't eat anything here. I can't pronounce one thing here. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
to say universe? Oh, oh yeah, my <laughs> bad. I always mix universe and runner up. So I guess we just Aww. won't eat lunch then, huh? I like How about that. we just go to Kuffuk? Um, what? Right? Yeah, Kuffuk. It's easy to pronounce, so we can go eat at Kuffuk if you want. Are you swearing at me right now? No, the <laughs> restaurant. You know Kuffuk, they have like those the gravy, mashed potatoes, corn, you get know, a big old bucket of uh, a chick fried chicken with the wet and red stripes and the picture of that old guy. KFC. Oh, no, Bernie Sanders. Oh. KFC. He said oh. Bernie Sanders. I cannot huh? believe you just said that. What? You're the one. Just because said I'm it. black, you assume I like KFC, you racist? That was a horrible <laughs> Steve Harvey impression. I know. I apologize. And I know that wasn't a good joke to end on either, so I apologize for that too. See, but at least I admit when I have bad jokes. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. You know, I have to say that Steve actually did apologize already. It was a typical PR apology that you know, every celebrity does when they mess up. And you know he doesn't really mean it because yeah, you know, when the really backlash really. first started coming, he literally said this. You kind of beat me up on the internet right now for no reason, but... meant what he said and he really does believe that you know women aren't attracted to Asian males it's one or the other and we all can agree that it was just a bad tasteless joke because we know he's not a racist I mean he just yeah. had a meeting with the president of the United States oh. so how can he be racist <laughs> but all jokes aside I decided to actually do my own research and uh, see if you know maybe Steve was onto something maybe women don't like Asian men so what I did is what any logical person on the internet would do taking it to the streets take it to the streets uh oh excuse me miss can I ask you a few questions it'll only take five minutes can I ask you a few simple questions my first question if you had to pick between these two individuals who would you to be more attractive A or B probably B A or B I'm gonna have to go with B they don't have Glenn there see what you're not gay, man. If you had an attractiveness, like, who would you? I like the walking dance, so... Beat. Beat, yeah. And if you had to pick one of these two individuals, who would you want to pick? <laughs> beat. I'm gonna have to go with Beat again. Of course, Beat. I love John Cho. Are you serious? I mean, <laughs> guess Beat? Which one would you consider to be sexier? Why are you at? Oh my oh, god. Beat. Probably Beat. Definitely Beat. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Beat, I guess? If you were to come across one of these next two people randomly on the street right now, who are you most likely to kiss? Uh, um... A. 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 Sure. I'm gonna have to go with A. Are you <laughs> sure? Yeah. That's a definite A. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, no, it would be fun if he really went out, out there and did yeah, it. Yeah, no. That would be savage. Stupid girls. <laughs> I would be savage <laughs> if he really went out to the public and was like, which one would you do, A or B? Like, that would have been so savage. Matter of fact, Comment below if you guys want us to do that. That would be what? go like outside us? and be like, yeah. So which one would you, which one would you A or B? Like, I would love to do something like that. That would be I would fun. love to. That would be fun. But see, the only thing that gets in our way when we do stuff like that is small oh. security. Because they feel like they... This do, summer, we yeah. did a skit. Where yeah, we, we just, did something where we were kind of trying to do, like, questions and everything. So a lot of people was like, where to go? It's because security was harassing us. And yeah. it was basically saying if we posted you can't record. It, then we were going to get in trouble. Yeah, if you posted like online, that. yeah. So that's the thing. That's our, that's our big roadblock. Like, don't be mad at me because you weren't good enough to be a real cop, okay? <laughs> yeah. So don't be mad at can't, me. You can't record. You can't, you know, no, you can't, you can't yeah. record. I'm like, what? Yeah, but anyway, guys. <laughs> Uh, BTS, those are some cute Asian guys. They are. I'm, I'm not, they you know, are, I'm just saying. Beautiful. They are beautiful. No, he's like, giving I'm credit just, when I'm credit just, is due. Yeah. That's not, that's not saying I saw, anything. I saw that one, um, uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh he was like, da, 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 da. Yes. I was like, yeah, dog. Yeah, so. yeah, I was. He loves the video. But they are just beautiful, so that is not true. Like, they yeah, are so. gorgeous. So, <laughs> yeah, Steve's, I thought Steve was wrong on that end. But, I mean, he's a comedian, yeah. so. I guess, I mean, you know, I wouldn't get butthurt about it, but like, oh my god, like, all in, like, it's... I mean, to me, personally, like, if they say that, like, like, reverse, like, about black people, I wouldn't be offended either. Yeah. Because... I don't care. If, like, if, you, if that's you your know, opinion, that's, that's your their opinion. opinion. Yeah, I really don't, don't care. Don't like, I'm not one of them people that get mad over like every little tiny thing that is said over the like, yeah. internet or whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Especially if I don't know you personally. I really don't. Yeah, so I, I really would, don't care. Yeah, people just find anything to get bothered about. Some people just nowadays. get butthurt because yeah. they feel like their name was said in that sentence. Like, it's yeah. not like he was saying directly, Jasmine, you <laughs> or something. Like, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> oh, but anyway, guys, please comment below. Tell us what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and share. more, guys. Yeah.